Hi, and thank you for joining me today on YouTube. If you're interested in learning more about my company, you can visit my website at www.threadworksfactory.com. You can sign up there for blogs, and I would be more than happy to uh, send you any blog postings that I make. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel, and you can also find me on Facebook and like my page there. Today what we're going to learn is a basic heirloom feather that's done for beginners. And I say this because it has a special little bump on it that allows us to reduce the amount of backtracking. Before we begin, there are three zones I want to warn you of that we're going to pay close attention to, and that is the interior of curved spaces. That would be this zone here, this zone here, and this zone here. Let's get started. I'm going to jump onto and start at the spine, and I'm going to put my first feather in but I'm not going to complete it. That gives me a little bit of room to work as I advance the quilt and, and go this way. I've done the first piece, so I'm going to put a little moon on it. It avoids myself from having to backtrack. It will then allow me to pop in another feather, and I am going to make sure that this next feather that I put in honors that line that I see. I've given myself enough room to be able to put that little bump back piece to it, I'll do my next feather, and then this next one that I put in is going to have a nice wrap. I've given myself some room to be able to do the bump back. I'm now going to come in with the next feather. I will then draw the last feather up with some room to be able to do that bounce. I'll have to backtrack, but just for a short distance. The next feather goes in, and we are now motoring with feathers. I'm going to have to do some reaching here to fill that void of that corner, but that's no problem. And I can now continue down this piece, getting the next portion of this feather drawn in. Now I'm approaching that next interior line that I'm going to have to pay attention to. So I'm honoring that line. And this is the last one that will cause me to honor it. I can now start with some smaller feathers that wrap back. Voila, now I can either tie off by tracking a bit and tying off, or I can track all the way back down this piece to start at this zone. Now that I'm here, I'm gonna put in the next feather. I'm also going to leave that one open I've done my little cap, and I am off and on my way. The next dash line I'm going to come to is the next line that I'm going to be paying particular attention to and honoring. There we go. And now that I've done that, I can start doing my wrap. Feathers look so nice as they reach into that zone. There we have it. And we would just continue in that same fashion. If you'd like to, don't forget to visit me on my website, www.threadworksfactory.com. Have a fantastic day and thank you for joining me. Subscribe to this YouTube channel.